2022 and the day after, Ron DeSantis and Charlie Crist sparred during a fiery face-off on live television. And Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live now in Doral with what the candidates are saying about the great debate. Glenna. Well, Calvin, the governor said exactly nothing that we heard about that debate today. Charlie Crist is actually on a media tour about it. Early voting, as you know, already started the day of the great debate yesterday. He has two weeks left to come from behind. It's great to be back in Highlands County. Another day, another press event for the governor. <laughs> Today, giving grant money to colleges, not one mention of last night's debate. Joining me now to talk about last night's debate. Charlie Crist repeated the debate issues all day on a post-debate press tour. Affordability is in a crisis in Florida. He's a divider. I'm a uniter. We need a good, decent man. That's why I'm running. Even bringing it to conservative media. You needed a knockout, and that did not happen. Did it? I think it did. <laughs> DeSantis remains standing firm behind even his most controversial decisions. Behind in money and polling, Chris launched like he had nothing to lose, even breaking pre-debate agreement that candidates would not direct question each other. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're re-elected governor of Florida? It's, it's not a tough time. question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. DeSantis did not answer, at least not that question. And I know that Charlie's interested in talking about 2024 and Joe Biden, but I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. It, it did get personal and it did get ugly, especially some of the audience members who were shouting things like liar from the audience, but did it move any needles? Did it change anybody's vote? That is hard to tell. I will tell you right now, second day of early voting, plus the vote by mails, there are 1.4 million Floridians who have already cast a vote. And for what it's worth, the numbers right now, a very slightly uh, higher number of Democrats have voted already than Republicans. I'm Glenna Milberg, live at Miami-Dade's election headquarters in Doral today, Local 10 News. All right, Glenna, you're stealing my thunder right now. We're going to talk a bit about that. Early voting continues across South Florida. Polling locations open each morning at 7 a.m. So far, 56,000 Republicans have voted early statewide compared to 34,000 Democrats and nearly 16,000 people who are not affiliated with the party. Nearly 12,000 people have cast their ballots early in Miami-Dade County and about 10,000 in Broward and 700 in Monroe. And here are the latest vote by mail numbers statewide. 545,000 Democrats have voted by mail compared to 493,000 Republicans and 234,000 people who are not affiliated with a party. And more than 117,000 people have cast their ballots by mail in Miami-Dade County and about 90,000 in Broward and 6,000 in Monroe. In a new poll conducted by FIU, a majority of Cuban Americans say they plan to back Governor DeSantis and Senator Marco Rubio for re-election. That's 64% of Cuban Americans polled. Another 11% say they'd vote Republican across the board. But if DeSantis plans to run for the White House in 2024, 37% of Cuban American voters say they'd prefer former President Trump versus 21% for DeSantis. And we have everything you need to know to be election ready. Scan the QR code on your screen to check out our voter guide on local10.com. You'll also see a breakdown of the other big races for the midterm election.